Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Falling for Books. For today's video I'm doing another romance recommendations. So for this romance recommendation I didn't really know what direction I wanted to go in. I still have lots of like new adult books to recommend and dark romances and stuff but I kind of wanted to change it up so I'm doing kind of like erotica slash like BDSM but I feel like most of these are BDSM but I have one in here that's more like erotica so I don't really know how I'm going to title this video but basically it's going to be like erotica BDSM books. So I actually have six series to share with you guys so let's get started. The first one is like really obvious and that is Fifty Shades of Grey. I know that this is not the best representation of BDSM. I have read books better than these ones but these just hold a really special place in my heart and I do recommend them. I feel like I recommend them if you're just starting out with BDSM because I think they're good. They're not as extreme as some other ones that I have read but they're also not like light and fluffy you know. So I do recommend this trilogy. I know there's so much hate out there for it but I love it. It's so close to my heart. I just I was so into these books and so like addicted to the characters and their story and I was just like I needed to know what happens like I read these back to back like I was so into it so the first book is obviously Fifty Shades of Grey the second book is Fifty Shades Darker and the third book is Fifty Shades Freed so I don't really feel like I need to explain what these books are about I'm pretty sure everybody knows so yeah. The next series I'm recommending is probably also another obvious one and that is the This Man Trilogy by Jodi Ellen Malpaz. These I would say are darker than Fifty Shades of Grey so these are probably like a step up. I feel like I read these after Fifty Shades. I probably did. So it starts with This Man, Beneath This Man, and This Man Confessed. Um, I have recommended these books quite a few times in several videos. I talked about them obviously in Jodi's author spotlight video. I will link that down below so you can go check that out and learn more about her other books. But this one basically follows an interior designer who meets with this businessman who wants to do like some business thing and then you know they're both attracted to each other, secrets happen, relationships, relationships happen, all that jazz. So. Yeah, I definitely recommend this one. Um, I absolutely love it. I definitely need to reread it because it's been a couple years. Next series is the Breathless series by Maya Banks. And this is like a companion trilogy, so you don't have to read them in order. They all follow different characters who are like friends. They're like in a friend group. The first book is Rush. The second book is Fever. And the third book is Burn. And this series just follows rich billionaires who are dominants and stuff. It's definitely heavier than a lot of the other BDSM books I've read. This one is, is definitely high up there with like the heavy stuff. So this is not a series that I would like recommend starting with because it's it's quite heavier. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I love the covers. They're so pretty. The next series is the Wicked Lovers series by Shayla Black and this is also quite a heavier one. I've only read the first five books and I think there's like over ten books. So it's a really long series. It follows multiple characters and pretty much every character in this book it follows like a dominant and a submissive and I think the first couple books follow like a club, like a dominant sex club type thing. It's also been years since I've read these books so I actually don't fully remember what they're about but I did remember enjoying them and thinking that they were on the greater scale of BDSM and like a more true um, true like example or like a true depiction I guess and I also remember these books like feeling like really emotionally heavy too um, which I feel like happens a lot with BDSM books I don't know maybe it's just me because I'm like that's not me at all so I feel like they're just so heavy but 
I really enjoyed these books. I'm only gonna mention the first five because those are the only ones I've read so far. One is Decadent, Delicious, Surrender to Me, and Belong to Me. Next series is The Blindfold Club by Nikki Sloan. This also, I believe, follows a, like, sex club thing, I think. I'm not really sure. It's also been ages since I've read these. And this is also a five book series that follows multiple characters. I've only read the first three books, but did enjoy them. I didn't give them higher than three stars, but I did enjoy them. Um, the first three books are Three Simple Rules, Three Hard Lessons, and Three Little Mistakes. And then there's two more that I have not read yet, so I obviously don't want to recommend them if I haven't read them. And the last series I'm going to recommend is the Sinners on Tour series by Olivia Cunning. And this is actually not, in my opinion, a BDSM series. Actually, there's one book in the series that is more BDSM. But I would say the series is more just like erotica, if that makes sense. And this whole series follows a band and their love lives. And I absolutely love these books. I've read them multiple times. I really love them. I just love the characters and the whole band and like their friendship and their bond. I really love this series. The first book is Backstage Pass, Rock Hard, Hot Ticket, Wicked Beat, Double Time, and Sinners at the Altar. And then there's like a couple novellas that go with it, but you get, the, you get the gist. So that is it for my BDSM slash erotica romance recommendations. I know I didn't really give synopsis, but I feel like it's kind of clear on like what the books are about. Anyways, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you've thought of them. And if you have any other recommendations for this genre, please leave them in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, Follow me on all my other social media and I will see you guys in my next one.